What's up, guys? Let me know if you hear me. Hi, Amy. What's up? Pink waffle. Awesome, guys. Hey, if you have questions, feel free to ask. That's what I'm here for. I don't know what's happening with the zooming part there, but it's uh, kind of annoying. Hi, Mitchells. What's up? What's up, buddy? Yeah, so if you guys have questions, just feel free to talk to, uh, say them out loud. Hi, sister. Happy New Year to you too, uh, Craig. Thanks for uh, mentioning it. Yeah, so anyways, um, I have a lot of videos coming up. I'm working on a lot of different videos, like 20 videos, let's say. So before I actually get one out, it might take a little bit more time. But um, at least I know that there's... Uh, What plumbing tasks do you find the most challenging? Are you residential or commercial? I used to be commercial. I never did uh, residential plumbing except for my my own house. What plumbing tasks do you find the most challenging? Um, I'd have to say um, running cast iron uh, lines because they're heavy and they're just hard to manipulate and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much what uh, I found the most challenging. Actually, I don't know much about uh, HVAC, so I can't really help you on that. The only thing I know is how to braze and I only did basic brazing. So maybe, um, maybe one of you guys could um, let us in on all of the secrets. What's up, Parish? Nice to see you. What's the best or easiest way to fix a leaky faucet? Well, it depends where it's coming from. It's if it's from the cartridge, well, you don't have a choice to change the cartridge. Um, if it's from the drain, well, obviously you'll have to address the drain. Um, I'm more the type to not do any quick fixes. I like going right to the source. I have a question. Why is there a rubber O-ring on my shower head, hose, and thread? Well, or else the water would just come out. Any tips on water softeners, how to set them up? Um, that either. I don't. I haven't done too many water softeners. Um, if someone uh, has done some, uh, maybe we could get a little bit of feedback from them. In HVAC, HVAC we do a lot of welding and soldering. Yeah, basically that's pretty much all that I would do was to solder. I did a little bit of pipe fitting, well, a little bit. I did pretty much of, of that in my career, but um, it wasn't my main job. Which one do you prefer more, Noritz or Navian? What's that, uh, Taco Dad? PVC because it's hard to twist it just like six inches in, is in up. Yeah, that's why I use the uh, rigid strap wrenches when I'm doing six inches and up. Uh, the biggest PVC drains that I've done were eight inch PVC XFR. Uh, they were for uh, rain uh, storm lines. I don't know what's going on with the uh, zooming part here. Anyways. <clears throat> no problem, Marcus. I'm going to change some galvanized piping to copper. Oh, that's going to be a big job. I was going to use Vega Pro Press, but was considering Opener PEX. What would you use? Absolutely use Opener PEX. 
there's no competition. That was for Mike MN six 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 whatever. Can you take Junk Copper home with you? What do you mean by that, uh, Mad Bro? I've been repiping with Pex. Pex is the ultimate, uh, the ultimate solution in my opinion. It's easier to install. It's a lot quicker. Uh, it's cheaper, and it probably lasts longer, from what I could tell, anyways. Tankless water heaters. Yeah, I was thinking on doing a video on that, but uh, unfortunately, I'm selling my house, so that won't be anytime soon. Would you do a video on hand threading gas pipe? Uh, yeah, I just have to uh, get enough information um, to make a decent video because just me threading a pipe wouldn't be that interesting. Amy, how heavy is the lifting? What is the heaviest thing you have to lift? What does it weigh? How far do you have to travel it? How do you... Well... It all depends what kind of job you're on. It all depends also what kind of foreman you have, what kind of company you're working for. The company I was working for, honestly, um, there was lots to do. Um, they would make you, uh, I don't know, me go up five or six stories with, uh, with let's say, a four-inch cast iron, 10, 10 foot four-inch cast iron line. So, yeah, it could become... Uh, it could become uh, demanding my electric hot water tank my electric hot water tank keeps dumping water from the relief valve should you replace the tank uh andres santos what kind of pressure do you have <clears throat> do you have inside your house uh typically a um safety valve opens at 100 psi if i'm not mistaken let me check mine here I believe it's 100 PSI, 150 PSI is what mine says. So if you have more than 100, uh, 150 PSI, you might need to get yourself a pressure reducing valve and install that. Or if it's um, not that, it could mean that you might need a... Uh, an expansion tank for your hot water tank. So it could be those two. Pecs all day, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you ever go on the R plumbing subreddit? It's pretty neat. Jericho, I don't know what that is. What's that? Jesse James, amen, bro. Amen. <laughs> Agree with that. Pecs is easier, but copper looks so much cleaner. Personally, uh, I prefer working with copper. Uh, let's say you're, I'm doing a mechanical room or something like that. Uh, PEX is not, uh, to me, it's just, the, it doesn't fly. Maybe teach a video on how to use a tap and die set for threading iron pipe. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Maybe teach a video. Oops, that's the one. What's the biggest high rise you've been on? Uh, 30, 30 stories high. Pinch me, Pete. Hey, baby. <laughs> tankless water heaters versus a standard tank water heater which do you prefer I actually can't answer that mike because uh, i never had uh, any experience with um tankless water heaters so i'd have to let someone that that has had experience with those tanks talk for me if a fan of pex do you prefer pex a or pex b um pex a how to properly transition uh, from iron pipe to CSST. What is CSST, uh, Taco Dad? Some relief valves can hold 150 PSI. Yeah, I think that's that, That's exactly what mine says. So, um, Jones 204, bad expansion tag. That's what I'm thinking. Jesse James, 70 PSI is what your house should be. My house personally is 70 PSI, but um, in general, houses are between 45 and 60 or something around there. I led tin silver bright solder my air conditioning installed back in 2000. No leaks. Congrats, Craig. Good job on closed systems. 60, 60 pounds per, yep. Yeah. That's about what it what uh, houses are um, in general. Install a PRV exactly. 
if uh, if you're the, the there's water coming out of your safety, that's probably what it is. You might have too much pressure. If you guys uh, follow me in the community, um, not too long ago, I posted a gadget. It's you just attach it to your uh, hose bib outside, and uh, it'll tell you the uh, static pressure inside the uh, for your home for your home. Just checked a house the other day. Pressure was one hundred and sixty. Absolutely, uh, most um, most fixtures are tested at eighty psi. So anything above that is pretty much risked. The house should be standard between sixty. And eh, those relief valves let off at one hundred and fifty. If the relief valve is letting off water low pressure, that means a relief valve exactly. Um, if I was you, I would definitely check into that because it could mean that your supply lines could burst. It could means your it could mean that your toilet valve will burst, your um, washing machine hoses, anything that's rubber could burst. They're not tested and they're not meant to to work at one hundred and fifty or one hundred and sixty psi. So a PRV might be a, a, a good idea here. Regular plumbing where people post plumbing questions. I'd have to check that out, Jarko. Any tricks on removing a water heater anode rod? Impact wrench, the way to go. Um, I'm never. I'm not a fan too much of impact wrenches because you can't control and you can't know if you're um, unscrewing something and that it's actually breaking. So I would go more with a, uh, a tor not a torque wrench, but a, a breaker bar if it's uh, that hard to remove. CSST is the yellow pipe. David, uh, Dylan, what was the uh, what was the question again? What did you want to transition from? Uh, what to CSST? Nobody installs hot water tanks with, uh, here in Vancouver. Yeah, it all depends on where you're from. I think it's more in the States that uh, we get to see that. Yeah, it could either be uh, Jesse James to tackle that. It could either, either be the expansion tank or uh, the pressure um, regulating valve. No problem, Andres. CSST, flexible gas pipe. Where am I from? Uh, sash window, I'm from Canada. Alex Tarasov, Tarasov, do you have PPR pipes in North America? Uh, please describe what pipe that is. Corrugated stainless steel gas pipe, yeah. Sorry, it's because I'm used to fr the French terms. Here in Canada, it's uh, in Quebec, it's everything is French, so uh, I'm not used to the English terms. The drill water pump don't work because no drain. Parish, no problem. Pleasure is all mine. Trap pipe, gas line, thoughts about it? Rather, your standard black iron. Uh, Mike Murray... I think the track pipe, track pipe, if I'm not mistaken, is not code. It's not meant to be permanent. But uh, maybe someone could correct me on that. I didn't do much of that. I did more uh, black iron pipe in my career. How much PSI it's in a gas line? Normally between, for residential, I'd say two to five pounds maximum. Any recommended all-natural drain cleaners? Any recommended ones? No. The best thing that I would do would be to pass a, a snake. Polypropylene, what's that? Is uh, I've never heard of polypropylene. Might have too much torque, yeah. If you have too much pressure, always see if the hot water tank side or cold water side... Turn the shutoff valve at the hot water heater. Good answer. Exactly, AC. I would never recommend anything such as Drano or any other chemicals for unblocking a drain because that's only putting the problem under the carpet. You're... They do say that uh, on the bottle of Drano that it doesn't harm the pipes, but still, you're... it's just not, not a good idea, not a good solution. I'm hoping to go to Bath next year in Canada. Bath tanks stainless steel is code in some places for gasoline. Check local codes exactly. 
there's so much um so many uh different ways of doing things throughout the world i can't possibly know every single way so do they still do lead pour on the plumbing exam just curious in the states uh i think they actually still mention it i'm i'm not in the states but in canada they actually still mention it they also do mention the uh the new alternative which is uh pc4 i don't know if you guys ever heard of it but it's basically uh there's no lead to be poured it just um binds and it hardens it's like um kind of like a horse hair and it just binds with some glue some uh, some sort of epoxy i don't know exactly what the uh the mixture is but it's uh, it's pretty good oui je suis québécois <laughs> t'es où t'es de où uh, dav lmt what tickets do you have what do you mean andrews by tickets France. <laughs> J'étais allé en France, euh, ça fait environ euh, quatre ans. Très belle place. Taco Dad, I'm not confused at all. I might look confused, but I'm not confused at all. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> Some guy online, thanks for, uh, for your videos. Hey, not a problem. The pleasure's all mine. I actually love making videos, so. Dark Blade, do you own your own plumbing company? No, I don't. I uh, basically only make YouTube videos now. By tickets, I mean like plumbing, red seal, for example, or cross connections, gas. The only um, the only license, basically, or card that I have is uh, to be able to work for uh, an employer. That's all. I was once thinking of opening up my own company, but uh, unfortunately, uh, my health the, did not allow me to do that. Craig, uh, video editing software, Premiere Pro. Yeah, Ryan, I saw that video, poor guy um i don't know what to say i mean why why would he cut a pipe if uh, he could have tested it before uh i don't i don't know um maybe he was not a plumber i have no idea <laughs> actually that got that video got like six or seven million views on youtube jesse vital your help your videos help so much great tips pleasure's all mine Thanks for uh, for letting me know. No problem, Craig. Isa Gashi, sorry, bro, I'm drunk. Lucky you. That guy was clear. I mean, clearly, yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, uh, you don't just cut a pipe, uh, assuming that there's no water in it. If you do that, well, you're looking for trouble. Nobody tries to change an angle stop while it's light. Well, that's that's exactly it. He he obviously attempted to do it. He may have done intentionally to get views, flood the apartment. Oh well, that that that's always a possibility. It's plausible, but what about air chambers on water lines? Are there supposed to be? air chamber on every fixture actually air chambers are against code now if uh, a plumber uh pipes in kind of like this here i don't know if you guys can see it but i'm in i'm in my basement 
And uh, as you can see, there's a lar lavatory in back of this wall. And this right here is, a, is an air chamber. If you plumb these nowadays, that's uh, going against code. Well, where I am personally. The best thing, the actually the thing to do is to buy, um, is to install a water hammer arrestor. I'm actually going to be talking about and in, talking about that in some of my next videos. What if I drop hot solder on my private parts? You're out of luck. The story was he could save the landlord money by changing it without shutting down the water to the whole building. That's just insane. I know plumbing can explain your camera keeps going out. It's so annoying. I don't know why it keeps doing this. I have no, like, no settings that I could adjust it. I'm really sorry about that. Oris, you watched the, the burning video. How did you like it? Hammer arresting chambers. I would post some, some pictures here, but I don't remember how to do it. So, but yeah, uh, it's Sioux Chief that makes them. Do you prefer wax rings for setting toilets or rubber uh, fern coats? I never installed rubber um, toilet. Um, wax rings only installed the uh the wax ones i'm not saying the uh rubber ones aren't good i just don't have any experience with them so i'm not gonna advise anybody to use them i had done a poll not too long ago on the uh, community section uh, of my channel and um i think it was like 95 percent of people said that it was uh uh the wax rings the the better choice and obviously to me it is too so Yeah, exactly. The guy's clearly on the third or second floor when he flooded. The, there was a girl passing her vacuum trying to get the uh, water out of the carpet. Isa, thank you very much. Any positive comments are appreciated. You guys are what keep me going because if I was alone doing this, it would not be easy. Huh, interesting. Coming from Illinois inspectors want us to have air chambers everywhere. Has different codes. Gotta love it. That's the plumbing world. Uh, there's some places in uh, Montreal where I'm from um, that when you're doing an uh, underground plumbing for every fixture, even if it's for a lavatory faucet, you have to have three inches coming out of the uh, uh, out of the slab. Makes no sense, but that's what that's what it is. So he probably caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage, exactly, and he probably wasn't licensed, so. Uh, his insurance couldn't pay. I wonder what happened with that. I recently saw a, a small amount of galvanized piping used on water line. Should this be changed out immediately? Oh. It all depends, uh, Arison. Um, it all depends. It all depends because uh, galvanized piping, if it was... Um, it depends the condition inside the pipe. You would have to cut a, a portion out to see uh, generally what the condition of the galvanized piping is inside the home that you're uh, that you're mentioning here. And uh, if it's like almost uh, full, then it has to be changed out. And generally, anything uh, that's um, galvanized piping needs to be changed because it was installed from. I don't know exactly what the years are, but uh, from then to now, it's uh, it's already uh, due to be changed. What's your plumbing idea, uh, Kalman? Hey, by the way, Kalman, thanks for uh, subscribing uh, as a member. I really appreciate it. I can see that you have a little sticker on your uh, on the side of your name. Jesse James, I like rubber wax rings. I would have to try them. I mean, it... it to me, it's a good idea because you don't have to deal with all of the, the wax on your hands. I normally wear gloves, so 
For me, there's no difference, but I like the idea of, of having a rubber wax ring. Rubber fern coals are so nice. They just stick on. Exactly. Spoderman, I love you too. <laughs> Dave, Dave, hi, what's up? Andres, no, I'm not working as a plumber anymore. It's been three years and a half. Uh, no, three years. Omaru Jagana. Hi, bro. Can you make a video about a water closet? You mean a toilet? Uh, I made a video not, I think it was a, a year ago, on how to um, on how to install a toilet. I'd have to link it here, but um, I don't want to like start messing around. I just want to answer the uh, the questions here. And the lady decided. And the lady decided to use her vacuum to soak up the water. I don't know what stupid plumber of a way. <laughs> Simon Tremblay, a video for a disaster. Roulé, s'il vous plaît, lâche pas mon chum. Ouais, euh, j'avais l'intention de faire ça, euh, une vidéo pour le désaxer rouler, parce que j'ai fait celle-là euh, pour le désaxer, mais pas rouler. Puis euh, ça l'a fait quand même euh, pas mal de vues. Fait que oui, éventuellement. So I've worked closely with the guys from Fluid Masters. They pay me to come and talk to them about their products and they claim they've sold over a million rubber gussets and haven't had a claim. Well, when it's coming from the company itself, obviously they won't tell you uh, if there's anything bad. But I don't have problems believing that. The shark bite deburring tool doesn't rim the inside. Is that okay for push fit? Um, or rest. Generally, anytime you're dealing with copper, you always want to rim the inside. It's something that's like I said in in the video that I posted. It's something. It's it's uh, it's getting lost out. A lot of people are skipping that part, but uh, it, it has to be done. If an engineer comes on your job, I know we all have our our, our opinions on engineers, but if uh, an ins not an engineer, an inspector comes on the job and sees that you've di you've done a whole system without uh, deburring the inside, whether it's copper, steel, uh, whatever piping they'll stop you right on the spot and they'll ask uh, to take everything off. I know because I, I've had this done to me. Maybe he had a faulty gate valve. Well, look, in that case, Matthew, the best thing to do would be to either freeze the pipe or... Um, not what he did, anyways. <laughs> Arson Crusher. All right, thanks. Love your channel. Thank you so much. Galvi is okay to use for potable water, but like I said, it will go bad over time. Unlike copper, it corrodes and loses the interior damage. Exactly. Um, you know, I'm working on a video right now called um, 20 things to check before buying a condo or house. And I mentioned that in a, in one of the, uh, that's actually one of the points. Um, you don't want to buy a house now and start having problems with your piping in the next five or 10 years, whatever. Um, because you're going to have to spend like $15,000 to get everything taken out and restarted uh, from, uh, from scratch. Victor Richards, um, I have a video coming up called uh, PEX versus Copper, all the pros and cons, and it's a very thorough video, so there's a lot of information that's going to be in that one, and uh, it pretty much covers everything that um, anybody needs to know about both of those pipes. Use a rubber wax ring once, it still haunts me to this very day. <laughs> Matthew, what exactly happened? Let us know. I have an idea for toilets. They should be made from fiberglass. Interesting. Only thing that works on new toilets. <laughs> what are you doing instead of plumbing now? Plumbing explained. I'm doing uh, YouTube videos. That's my main, um, my main job. How can I make a license for plumbing? You know about it. Kalman, uh, where are you from exactly? 
why is there wood floors in your bathroom and under your toilet? That's just the way um, we wanted our um, our flooring to be. There's actually no problem with having wood floor in a bathroom. Um, if you have kids, uh, obviously, I wouldn't recommend it too much because, uh, you know, um, water could it could get out of control pretty quickly and you don't want too much water on the floor. But we're, we were two adults, so. What is the most popular pipes in the US, U.S. and Canada? Copper. Um, I have to say it's plastic. PEX. Yeah. Spoderman, like I said, what do I do for a living now? YouTube videos, 100%. You're an OBSS. I learned lots from your channel. Thank you. Thanks so much. I don't know how to, how to re-thank you guys. Rubber wax ring, ru ru rubber wax ring. Yeah. Damn. I can't keep up with the comments, guys. There's too many. What is code for vents going through the roof? Usually we use three to four inch PVC going out the roof. Yeah, here uh, is normally what we do. We have a um, a line in the code that says it has to uh, be like, uh, let's say four inch to three inch so that it creates a vortex so that it doesn't freeze. I'm actually gonna um, write that down. I just remembered that. And I'm gonna put it in one of my videos of um, that I'm uh, another video that I'm working on. Um, how to's complete, not complete plumbing. You guys give me good ideas. I really appreciate it. Okay, back to answering questions. My man, my connection or the stream really went bad here. Uh, I didn't witness that. If you ain't a plumber, what are you doing as a job? Like I said, uh, I do YouTube videos for, as a living. Um, I was a plumber for 11 years and a commercial plumber for 11 years. So I just took my experience that I gained and I'm kind of making videos about that now. Mohammed Rahim, I'm 17 years of age and I aspire to be a plumber. What is your advice to become successful at this trade? Currently, I'm studying plumbing at college and doing level two NVQ. Uh, be in shape, have 100% of your health, um, always have good tools, not cheap stuff, um, learn your code properly because you're going to need it every day uh, on the job, um, always listen to your foreman because he's the one that uh, knows what he's doing, um, what else can I say? Um, we used to say, we used to, uh, use a term in uh, construction here and it was, don't put your heavy boots on the morning. Uh, what that meant was never be slow on the job. Foremans never like to see someone that's sluggish. You always want to see that you're, you know, um, alert. And so, yeah, those are pretty much the, um, the things that I could uh, give you as advice, uh, Mohammed. Have one in my toilet doing just fine. Good to know, Joe D. Can you make a video with tricks about how to cut, cut cast iron pipes? I'm actually working on one right now, uh, Nakata. Do elbows reduce water pressure and flow when installing plumbing system? How important is it? The concept of keeping, keeping 90 bends to a minimum. Is it very critical? Um, 
Honestly, the more elbows that you put in a system, the more it uh, creates drag if we want. Um, it's kind of impossible to actually see it, but it, you could do a test. Um, the more streamlined that your system is, the better performance you're going to get out of it. That's uh, that's for sure. Calman, when the backs go, what do you mean, Calman? Exactly. I was thinking exactly of that plumbing. Explain. The plumber should have taken a simple garden hose and put it on the uh, the line that he had just cut into the toilet or into the bath so that the water has somewhere to go. And he just didn't think of that because he was getting sprayed, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Matthew, Jamie, cool. It's always fun to hear that you guys use the, the tricks that I post. Thomas Jackson, 15,000. Yeah, it goes around that, and that's in the U.S. So if you're Canadian or something like that, uh, we're talking a good amount of money because not only do you have to remove the pipe, but you also have to open up the walls, open up the ceilings. So it can become costly very quickly. Any videos on how to come on ABS, PVC pipes, and venting cheater vents? Cheater vents, you mean uh, loop vents? Jilly, oh, wait. Oh my God, the comments. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm having trouble keeping up with the comments. Really, there's like a lot. And every time I seem to scroll on the uh, on the uh, the comments window, it's like it bugs. So it's like I, I, I have to get uh, back to where I was reading. Can, uh, Nataka, I'll start with you. Can you make a video on how to correctly uh, cut cast iron pipe? I'm working on that. I just have to get the uh, setup done. But I have a lot of videos that are in front of it. So it might not come out until, let's say, um, March. Something like that. I'll try to get it done as quickly as possible, but I can't promise anything. Plumbing explain. Do you get uh, pinhole leaks on the copper out there, bro, all the time? Uh, I know a plumber that personally, that's pretty much what he does uh, in... Um, in uh, when the freezing temperatures come. So when the PEX cutters get hard to cut, I make it hot. If it works for you, then good. <laughs> Heriberto Ramirez, great channel greetings for Puerto Rico. Thanks, man. Snap cutters for cast iron. Ah, yeah, that's the best. Uh, well, snap cutters for cast iron are good, but not on old cast iron because it might just snap it and not make a clean cut. Um, personally, what I prefer using uh, when it comes to cutting cast iron is either a grinder uh, with a diamond uh, with a uh, tungsten carbide blade or um, a uh, reciprocating saw with the same blade. How much do I make on YouTube? I can't say. I've been binge watching your tips and tricks vids. Thanks again and congrats on your new full-time job. Parish, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like I say all the time, if it wasn't uh, for you guys that are watching my videos and that uh, uh, comment on them because the comments are what uh, make the video show up uh, with the uh, YouTube algorithm. It's very important. And I can't thank you guys enough. Really, I really appreciate it. What did you become a plumber and why did you stop? I became a plumber because I always liked um, I always liked uh, how a liquid could go into a pipe from point A to point B. I don't know. It always 
I always found that cool. So, um, and also, um, you guys didn't see my new computer, but um, let me see if I could uh, get a uh, a shot here with the webcam. So you guys know that I like plumbing. This is my computer. So as you can see, uh, all of the pipes that are in there, there's all um, uh, it's all liquid cooled. So the idea stays of me liking plumbing, even in the computer. <laughs> And why did I stop to answer your question? Um, I, I have really bad uh, back problems. I'm not old, but I really have bad bad, bad back problems. It runs in the family. So um, for my own sake, uh, I decided to just quit my job. And um, luckily, I was able to continue um, making some income with, um, with YouTube. You should mention that when you're installing DWB cleanouts are very important. In the next video that I'm uh, releasing, which is the 20 things to check before buying a property, that's the uh, first uh, point that I talk about. Is your webcam a Microsoft webcam? Dave, Dave, it is. Do you know how to get that autofocus to stop doing that? Ash beer, uh, sing how to take off a ferrule from a half inch copper pipe. You need a tool for that. You need a special puller that'll, uh, um, press itself against the front of the pipe and it'll pull with two teeth, uh, the ferrule off, but, uh, you gotta be careful which model, um, puller that you buy because they, they're not all, um, good quality and they could uh, ruin your pipe. You don't want any of that. Jilly Squeeze, are you in the U.S.? No, I'm in Canada. How old am I? How old do you give me uh, plumbing explained? Yeah. Ted Mendes, you don't want to bite your fingernails, especially if you don't wear any gloves. <laughs> That's actually disgusting. Um, <laughs> Jilly Squeeze, <laughs> turn off your camera's autofocus. I don't know how to. As a plumber, you know I try super hard to wear rubber gloves as often as possible but you know that there are times we just gotta take get the hands dirty absolutely uh i'm not an advocate of wearing gloves especially when you're soldering i don't know if any of you ever got uh solder go into your glove into a rubber glove and the uh, the ball of solder stays in the glove and just keeps burning into your skin that's a big no-no uh if you're doing waste and vent and stuff like that yeah Can you make a video on DWV that, and that's it, that it's important to have lots of cleanouts. Yep. Like I said, I'm working on a video right now that uh, talks about that. Any pro tips on how to measure and cut smoke pipe better? What do you mean by smoke pipe? Thanks for your answer on the elbows. No problem, Daniel. Um, always try to um, keep your, your system streamlined for a couple of reasons. Uh, the less fittings that you install, the less chance you have, it, have of it leaking, the quicker you'll be able to build it. And also, uh, uh, you'll probably get a lot more flow out of it too. Can you make a tutorial on how to bend copper pipes and LCS pipe? I don't know what LCS pipe is, but yeah, copper bending uh, video is is coming up. I don't know if I'm going to put it within another video to not just talk about how to bend a copper pipe, but it's uh, it's definitely coming.
I had a waterline break on me when I was an apprentice and I used my finger to try to cover the copper live uh, line and it sunk like a quarter inch into my hand by the time they got the boiler shut. Ouch. Oh, cheater vents, AKA, AKA admittance uh, vents. Um, yeah, well, you only want to use those when um, it's the only, really the only choice you have. If you have... <clears throat> If you have to open up walls uh, to get to connect yourself to a, an existing vent, I'd recommend that over installing a mechanical vent at a hundred percent. I've heard too many stories of those. Or what you could do is uh, get uh, build a loop vent like you would under a uh, uh, an island kitchen uh, sink. Dave, Dave, can you make a video on DWV and that it support have lots of cleanouts? Yes, I will. Javi, what's up, man? Love your video. I've been working on plumbing company now about four months. Your videos help me a lot. Thanks, man. I don't know how to how to how to say uh, thank you more than that. The guy that trained me was from Montreal, Quebec. Your accent reminds me of him so much. It's hilarious. I miss that old man. Yeah, Montreal, Quebec. That's exactly where I'm from. I don't hear my accent, but obviously everybody else hears it. I really like your videos. Can you do a video? on when you need to use thread tape on fittings. Um, well, all I could say is anytime you have tapered threads or NPT fittings, if you have uh, parallel threads, you don't need um, you don't need Teflon because they seal with an O-ring. Uh, anytime you have tapered threads, like uh, when you're doing um, uh, galvanized uh, or stainless, or not stainless, but carbon steel piping for heating and all of that those have tapered threads those ones uh you need either uh dope or teflon mike murray exactly that's that's my personal choice uh it all depends on what type of copper i'm uh, what, what type of cast iron i'm i would be cutting if it's old and uh frail i go more for either the grinder or the sawzall and like really go slow uh, or else if it's just brand new copper i tend to use the uh the uh, ratchet cutter over the uh, scissor cutter monse new york um uh, what was your question uh calman i don't remember i'd have to go back up but it's too far Carbide saws all blades to me are the safest and best. Exactly. I don't know about you plumbing explain, but, um, you know, seeing they're, they're very expensive. They're quite costly for, uh, if you want to have carbon, uh, tux side blades, I even, uh, go to the extent of cooling them, uh, between like, let's say if I cut halfway, I just cool it down with, I quench it in water. I don't know if you do the same thing, but I, I think it preserves it a little bit more. It's not necessary to do it, but um, it's, uh, you know, it's an investment, so I, I, I do it. Here in Colorado, we have very hard water, which creates pinholes, turns the copper pipes paper thin. Yeah, uh, that's why it's important uh, to have uh, either type L or type K, even some people use uh, for the uh, the whole plumbing in the house. Or you just get a water softener, of course. Exactly. Uh, you'll splinter it up and then you'll just have to cut lower and sometimes just a pain. So I used a five-foot pipe wrench the other day. It was awesome. Was it aluminum or uh, um, cast iron? Seems better stream now. I don't know what that was, Craig, with this, with the uh, the connection before. Maybe it might be my connection. I have no idea. Felicia Elmore tried to use snaps on old uh, cast iron. Didn't go well. That's it. Uh, you have to really judge on your own before uh, cutting the pipe. If it's frail or if it's 
you know, you really got to like, if, if you if you think you're taking a chance, you might as well just go out and get yourself a sawzall and cut it with that or a, or a grinder. Jesse, I use a diamond blade over sawzall. It all depends because a grinder, um, with a grinder, if the cast iron pipe is in the corner of a wall, you can't get your the uh, the blade to cut the the full length of the pipe. So it depends. I heard that uh, carbide um, carbide bl uh, blades are better than the diamond ones. Make explanation video on how can go from place A to place B. What do you mean? Uh, like, uh, let's say starting from a four-inch stack and uh, distributing for, a, let's say, a bathroom or something. Is that what you mean, Kamen? Yeah, uh, plumbing explain. It does cut uh, remarkably quick. These new blades, uh, they have a lot of technology put into them, a lot of time and research, so... <laughs> Who saw my my electrical panel? <laughs> Those diamond blades for Sawzall are really nice, but they're priced. It's really efficient, though. Uh, Diablo sent me a few other blades uh, to try them for, uh, like I was saying before, I'm working on a cast iron video. So uh, I'm going to get to try those, and um, if I like them, I'll link them in the uh, description box when I'm done with the uh, with the video so you guys can get them. But yeah, they are quite pricey, but you could reuse them uh, because they last <clears throat> a lot longer. So less trips to the hardware store. Joseph Harp. Uh, I tend to use the ratchet cutter pretty much all the time. Um for cast iron i don't personally like the uh, the scissor one there that just has uh so yeah i tend to use the uh, the ratchet one our valve ball valves accepted as supply line valves absolutely absolutely the feral blaster yeah that's exactly uh the one that i'm that's uh that's actually a good one a good good tool to get which type of crimp band is best for PEX? Um, crimp band. I use just the uh, the round copper ones, or they're, sometimes they come in a black color. I don't use those stainless steel uh, crimp rings there. Looks like the handle on a caulking gun. Marouk, 19, 1990, 30. Exactly, I am 30. <laughs> How come I seem to get bad gas when I unplug a toilet? Uh, I really don't know, Jeff. Could be a, a many things. I imagine you're around 30. Yeah, I am. Oh, 33. We're almost the same age. You need a new Simon's main panel. I saw that before. Hi, bro. Thanks for the videos. I really like to learn a lot. Keep it up. And I have a question. Is that can you run one-inch copper pipes for five toilets? Stub out. Um, I don't think so. One inch seems a little bit small for one inch stub outs. I think like you'd have to go for an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half for that. You'd have to read the, uh, the, um, the code for that specific building that you're, um, that you're plumbing. Kevin Poo, not a fan of copper piping. Uh, it all depends for what, what kind of plumbing do you do? Ted Mendes, I wouldn't use the crimp system. You know what? Uh, with the new expansion tools uh, that they're coming up with, uh, Opener really are. I think they're the. That's the future, man. It's really the future. I did a full high rise building in Opener, and it's just so good. <laughs> it's not comparable to copper. Oh, I get it now, Parrish, why you want the toilets to be in fiberglass. Yeah, they are heavy. Um, have any of you already tried the toilet handle? It's a spring-loaded um, spring loaded uh, device there that someone invented, and you, you squeeze it, and you put it in the toilet, and it expands, and then you could use it as a handle. If some of you tried it uh, and find it cool, uh, I might do a video about that. Let me know.
Guys, I can't keep up with the questions. There's way too many. Way too many. Okay. Uh, Ken M got a gas hot water question. Can you use the shark bite fittings instead of a solid fitting on hot water lines? Absolutely. Uh, I have a video that's coming up for that. It's made. I'm just not releasing it yet because I have an order to respect. But uh, it talks about shark bite fittings and everything you guys need to know about them. Uh, you guys, are, I think, are going to be surprised at the end what my opinion is on them. But yeah, you could use them on uh, on water line, potable water lines. There's no problem. You just need to install them uh, properly. Uh, you need to deburr the outside of the pipe uh, properly. You have to check the insertion depth. That, those that that's an absolute must if you're installing shark bite. Shark bites or uh, pressed fittings, they need to be deburred and they need to be um, uh, checked for the insertion depth, or else you might, uh, well, you will run into trouble eventually. Pex or copper is the best. Jesse James, it depends for what. It really depends. Uh, Pex, uh, not Pex, but copper is slowly, um, slowly uh, going out of style. But there's still some things that it's very uh, much in use for, like uh, mechanical rooms and stuff like that. Medical gas. Yeah. PVC is usually better for residential piping, in my view. Uh, here in Canada, Montreal, uh, we don't do PVC. There's actually zero PVC here, except for vacuum lines. And uh, we use mainly ABS and cast iron for drain pipes. Sometimes also copper, DWV copper. Victor Richards, since you're in retirement, <laughs> do a fan giveaway and uh give tools away i actually uh didn't have much luck when doing giveaways a lot of people wouldn't respond to the video and uh i was i just wasn't getting good feedback so i stopped doing them but in the beginning i used to do them a lot aslam malik really helpful your channel learned a lot of plumbing stuff you're welcome really thanks thanks a lot for the positive comments you guys are nice uh Shark bites are temporary fixes. I wouldn't trust them. Not a fan of them. Ted Mendes. Uh, like I uh, said previously in, uh, in another live that I did, shark bite fittings, if installed correctly, are super safe to use. Um, what happens is they're um, directed towards more of a homeowner type repair or do-it-yourselfer type repair. And a lot of times these people don't know how to properly install them. There's guidelines, there's things you need to know before installing um, a shark bite fitting. All I could say about, about shark bite fittings is that they've been used in uh, the military, um, the Navy for in submarines. Uh, the EPDM O-rings are used on pretty much any uh, car that you see that's on the road for brake systems. So you're actually relying, depending uh, on those EPDM, uh, EPDM O-rings uh, to be able to brake. So if they're, they're, they're good for cars, they're good for plumbing. Um, it all depends. You see, um, I personally would not use shark bite fittings in a closed wall. Uh, to me, that's just... Uh, it's too risky, but I know very well that shark bite fittings, if installed well, not much could go wrong. So it all depends on your level of comfort uh, for the for uh, for the product. What's your view on compression fittings versus soldering? Um, obviously, if you're asking me which I prefer, um, I'll have to answer copper because it's permanent. Uh, and there's no uh, mechanical aspect to it. Uh, compression fitting, if you're really unlucky, could come apart and could leak. A uh, soldered fitting can't come apart. But uh, sh um, compression fittings are my secondary choice uh, next to copper. If I had to really choose, they would be in second place. How come I seem to get bad gas when I plug a toilet? I don't. I really don't know. Smoke pipe meaning vent pipe. 
Matthew, Jamie, I, I I don't remember what your question was. I'm sorry about the smoke pipe. You need a new seven minute, okay? Do you have your masters? No, I don't have my masters. The only thing I have is a um a license to be able to uh go uh on construction sites to do plumbing. That's all I have. I go to a tech school and I can't decide to do plumbing or electrical. Well, you're on a plumbing channel, so I'm going to tell you to go plumbing, not electrical. <laughs> okay, uh, got leak. Love your content. I got my <coughs> I got my apprentice watching your videos. Been very helpful for him and his skills have definitely enhanced due to them. Thanks for the effort you put into them. Thank you so much for your positive feedback. I love hearing that. Toilets have pee traps inside toilet. When you remove it, it will smell. Yeah, exactly, for sure it's gonna smell. If that's what you were referring to, um, I don't remember who asked the question, but yeah, that could obviously be the reason why you're smelling sewers if you remove your toilet. When you unclog a toilet, that water siphons and you'll get backdraft gases. That too could be a good reason. If you have a weak stomach, do a little. <laughs> exactly. I have so many stories that I could tell you guys about stuff that happened with feces and waste, disgusting stuff. Important. Low volume and system from the city. Pressure is 60 PSI when closed. I have three apartments. If somebody uses water, lot. Yeah. Um, that's another thing that I, that I, uh, point out in my next video is to make sure when you're buying a property that you have a big enough pipe, uh, at the main entrance. If you have a, I don't know me, a three story, uh, a triplex and you have a half inch or three quarter inch, uh, main coming in, you're, you're, uh, asking for trouble. Um, you need to have at least one inch for three for three uh, apartment or three um, yeah three apartments. Like if you have a house like I have, I have two bathrooms, um, two bathrooms. I have two toilets. Uh, yeah, two toilets, a bath, a shower, and I have a three quarter inch main, and I have absolutely no problems. So. What is the best type of valve for throttling? Um, I actually don't know. I would not be able to answer you uh, for that. Elnika, what's up? Ball valve for throttling, I guess. Uh, Snow's Tech. Hey, bud, you helped me out a lot. Got my whole kitchen set up thanks to your videos. Not in the process of redoing all the basement drainage. I hope if you get to the basement drainage, uh, my videos are going to help you out. Snowstack, if I remember well, you're in Montreal too, right? What kind of torque wrench do you prefer for hubless cast? I personally don't use a torque wrench. I just go by eye. But uh, yeah, the, the best thing would be to uh, use a torque wrench. I was using the, the Milwaukee torque gun. It's a 12-volt gun that has a 60 or 40... Uh, torque uh, 60 or 40 pound torque setting uh registered already on it so you don't have to do anything it just clicks and sets it to the right um uh setting but if you're just doing things by hand uh hand tight that's what i that's what i uh base myself on Any uh, opinion on solder, solder versus push fit joints, long-term reliability, and push fittings? Well, look, all I can say is solder joints uh, uh, have proven their point. Um, you know, systems that, 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 that were made 40, 50, 60 years ago are still running with copper. Uh, they're starting to get pinholes too, yeah. But we can't, we don't know yet with... Uh, with push fit fittings it's it's a little bit early to say but i'm i'm pretty sure that uh it's they're doing well cast iron pipe wrench what's that 
I'm actually putting a video together right now explaining in depth why pinhole leaks happen and some of the best ways to prevent them. I'm going to go check out your channel, Plumbing Explained. Anyways, I'll check it out uh, once I'm done with the live. It's already an hour and six minutes we're on. <laughs> um, have a, okay. Do you use ProPress, Robert Patterson? Yep. Um, uh, I made a video just about ProPress uh, about six or seven months ago, something like that. All the pros and cons, so you can go and check that out on my channel. But yeah, ProPress, and I know a lot of plumbers that use it too. So it's good stuff. Chloramine to treat water, they probably do the same in Southern. Yeah, chloramine is also um, is also bad when you're using fittings with O-rings because it could um, deteriorate them a lot quicker than if it was just water with uh, just pure water from a well, let's say. While I have my walls open, snow stick. While I have my walls open, is it better to replace all cast iron to ABS? Not necessarily. Cast iron um, is known for its uh, dampening uh, properties. So if you have cast iron, I'd say just keep it. Cast iron uh, is good, in my opinion. And plus, you're, you're, you're going to save yourself all of the work. Scuba Cat. Holy, overly aggressive autofocus, Batman. I know the autofocus is terrible on this camera. I have no idea why it's doing it. I have no way to stop it. You have to get a whole house full of specific. Uh, 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 the softeners don't work unless the chloramine. Exactly. Arrest. Thanks. You're actually not too far away from where I live. Diablo is the brand I use. Got to learn. Me too. You need to show Dal Valves, Canadian made, baby. Yeah, uh, Dal actually approached me not too long ago at the MCEE show that I went to, and uh, we might do something in the future together, but uh, it's still uh, in the works. I have no PRE, so you guys said they know the problem when I need to replace half inch copper on the street. What can I do on my side? I'm from Montreal. What's wrong, uh, Miroslav, with the half-inch copper pipe? Exactly. Uh, Parish, that's uh, something that I cover in uh, another one of my videos. Like I said, I'm working on like 20, 20 to 25 videos at the same time because I have so much stuff to talk about. And... Uh, yeah, uh, that's one of the uh, the plumbing, plumbing mistakes that uh, a lot of people make and that I see a lot is they use tape or dope when there's an O-ring. Um, a lot of people just don't know about it. So, yeah, I'm mentioning it uh, in one of my videos. From which company did you work from here in Montreal? Charbonneau. I don't know if you know what Charbonneau is. Uh, Sam, Sam Oudim. What if I take this out, pop out chat? Is that going to make a difference? Nope. All right. Like I said, guys, I'm really having trouble keeping up with the comments. There's too many. All right. Um, okay. Still is best for tight places. Um, okay. For which company did you work? Yep. Snows, ABS, us trashed, I believe. One. Jesse James. I actually do need a mod. I don't know who's willing to <laughs> offer themselves, but. The really awesome shark bite review. Uh, I have one coming, guys. Like I said, 
Um, I'm going to tell you how long that video actually is. I think it's like 12 minutes long. Okay, the shark bite video uh, that's uh, coming up for you guys is 15 minutes and a half long. So there's a lot of information that I put out there for you guys. Plumbing explain. I'm not a fan of shark bite fittings for permanent use. Me neither. Um, for some reason, I just don't feel safe using them, you know. So no solution for low volume issues in homes except excavation for $7,000. That's sad to hear, um, but that's plumbing. Uh, stuff happens, and uh, if that's what they need to do, then that's what they need to do. Jesse James, shark bites are awesome. They're, they are just expensive. They are expensive. Thanks. I suck at soldering. Ken M, uh, did you see my soldering videos? Because they've helped, they they helped a lot of people uh, get their work done. Plumbing, explain. What do you mean by the um, inside of the shark bite? The plastic deteriorated over time. That are are you sp are you talking about plastic push fit fittings? Yeah, Steve Shelton, Copper Crimp is good. The tool is pricey too. <laughs> the O-rings are not the problem. It's the plastic inside the thing itself. Yeah, I never heard of that actually. Hey guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Also, it helps um, it helps get the video um, seen on YouTube. I'm actually gonna keep this video because there's a lot of information in it. All right. Um, Adam Eater, what's your recommendation for hooking up a fridge to a water line without using a piercing valve? Never use those piercing valves, guys. Uh, I know a lot of you know about it, but I, I also know that a lot of you don't know about it, but um, what are they called? Saddle valves. Never buy those ever and never install them. They're, they, um, you could buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, but they're not legal to use. They could still sell them. They're allowed to sell them because uh, it could be for temporary use and that doesn't matter. But that's the problem with saddle valves. Never use uh, a saddle valve to make a connection for whatsoever. If it's for an ice maker, if it's for uh, a filter, just never use it, please. <laughs> I actually have a video on that. I would link it here. But um, actually, yeah, here, I'll link it. Um, I made this video when I redid, when I connected a uh, waterline to my fridge. And uh, yeah, a lot of people like it. So here's the video. Steven Shelton at Jeff. Highest you can good in plumbing. I don't know what that means. He's not just old school as a plumber. Yes, sir. You piggyback. Would you like to fix something for my wife in the kitchen? <laughs> Glad you read that. No problem, Jesse James. Miroslav Barusukov. What's the wage in Montreal with card? Which school you recommend and go residential or commercial? That all depends on you, uh, Maroslav. If you want to do residential, that's uh, it's really a personal choice. If you want to do residential, uh, all I can say about that is that it's it goes a lot quicker than it does in commercials. Uh, in commercial plumbing, I mean. And uh, also, you're going to be doing a lot of shoveling. So if you don't mind shoveling, uh, go residential. There's uh, it, Like I said, it's all up to you. What are what is the wage? Um, I'd have to check, but if you're a journeyman, a journeyman, by the way, is when you did 
uh, your full apprenticeship and you get to the last stage. A journeyman is, you're basically supposed to go on the job alone. Um, journeymen get between 35 and 40 two dollars an hour canadian hope that answers your question plumbing explained uh if you never used uh pro press you have to try it it's really nice really simple too snow step yeah montreal west island <laughs> that's pretty nice i remember i don't remember i think you have a, a store or something we had talked uh on facebook Thanks for a stream in Europe. It's around 4 a.m. I guess it's time to go to sleep. Good night. If you got the funds, get the proper tool plumbing explained. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Or if you have the funds, get um, the opener expansion tool. Personally, if you were to ask me for everyday use, I'd prefer going with the expansion tool, not the uh, press tool. That's the reason why I got a little expensive. Yep. That is also pretty and the brass is uh, mm, 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 just probably always be the best, best member for joining copper pipes and ensures leak free joint. Trissets, Trissets. Yeah, uh, soldered joints uh, to me are the most reliable. Um, it's actually quite easy to solder when you get the hang of it. And uh, there's no not too many tools required to get uh, to get it done. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, Jesse James, uh, Pex does handle, ha handle uh, freezing temperatures a lot better. You're right about that. No problem, Animator. Pleasure's all mine. There is a plastic sleeve inside the shirt and that sleeve actually decays over time. I can't be sure if it's because somehow they were getting direct sunlight. How could they get direct sunlight if they're in the wall? Gustavo Rojas. Uh, Rojas. Hello, I like your videos. Thank you very much. I like your comment. <laughs> I have my journeyman license. Good, good. All good. Chase Chandler, plumbing is nice up here. I personally haven't been plumbing for three years, but plumbing is really awesome in Montreal. I have nothing to say about it. Arrest. I was told that the plastic sleeve in the shark bite should be removed for copper hour and must stay on for pecs. Actually, uh, I talked with a shark bite rep not too long ago to make the shark bite video that I made, and they said that it should actually never be removed. And some people say it has to be removed. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I started plumbing and a shovel and a jack camera as, a, as my tools. Same for me. Miroslav, good. Uh, look, I hope my videos could influence you to become a plumber. Plumbing is a awesome job. You're you're gonna learn every day if you if you're open minded. Of course, you'll learn every day about plumbing. Um, uh, you're also gonna learn about other trades, um, whether you like it or not. You're going to learn about how to do electricity a little bit. You're going to learn a little bit about HVAC. You're going to learn about, um, I can't find the name in English, menuiserie, um, carpentry, all, all, everything that englobes plumbing, uh, you're going to learn a little bit about. That's why it's such a, an interesting job. It'll keep you in shape. Um, and it'll, it's going to develop also your uh, dexterity if you're not used to that. Yeah, Aris, uh, 
Shard bites, like I said, uh, they work if they're properly installed. The people that have problems with them is because they weren't installed correctly. Because, like I said, uh, they were, they're still, they've been used for a long time and are still used in uh, the Navy for uh, submarines. And uh, also the rings, the EPDM rings are the same rings that are used on uh, your car's brake system. So, Chase Chandler, are you service, commercial, or new construction? When I used to work in plumbing, I used to be commercial. I did, did a little bit of service, and I didn't like it. KM, what's an air gap and why? The reason why there's an air gap between, let's say, a floor drain and, um, I don't know, me a, uh, a drain for an air conditioning something like that is so that it um, it doesn't suck up the water that's in the drain into the machine if ever there's a backup or something or a vacuum that happens so that's the only reason there it's there to protect the um, the uh, uh, anything that the drain goes into Calman uh, thank you very much for your waiting for a million subscribers I don't know maybe one day maybe one day a million subscribers will be possible. <laughs> there you go jesse uh like i said uh you learn a lot if you're in other trades like let's say i don't know me drywalling you're also gonna learn uh, a lot about uh other trades but i find that plumbing is uh one of the best uh, the best trades that you could get into if you want to learn a broad um uh, Brad, you know, a lot of other trades you're going to learn. You don't really have a choice because you have to coordinate with them. Uh, sometimes there's modifications that they need to do and they'll do it in front of you. So you see how it's done. Arrest, uh, any opinion on robotic leak detection shutoffs? I have one. Uh, installed at my house here, and it's from Streamlabs. I actually did a video review on that not too long ago. And um, I think they still need uh, they still need work on them. Um, there's a lot of things that that need to be adjusted, like the app on the the phone. Um, and it's also hard for these valves to judge when to shut the water off uh, shut the water off if you have let's say a sprinkler system outside it can't know so you have to kind of adjust it's 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 a they're still like in development in my opinion they still need a lot of work yeah the flow by mode is pretty cool little device i've been selling them Exactly. They're the same, pretty much the same concept uh, as the Streamlabs uh, shutoff valve. Do you do any videos on isometric drawings or any apps? No, Juan, I have never done any uh, videos on isometric drawings. I don't know if that's something that I'm ever going to do, but if I get the demand, uh, I'll try. Chase Chandler, do you guys do a lot of slab leaks up there or are most of them water lines run overhead? Slab leaks? You mean passing pipes inside uh, a slab? I don't I don't understand the question. Drywall guy drywall guy learned to not hit my work. <laughs> Does it sync with your phone or rest? Yeah, it syncs with your phone. It's actually connected Wi-Fi or um, um, by the internet. So you can actually control. Uh, let, let me link the video to that here. You can actually control the valve if you're uh, in another country. Uh, if you decide to close it, you could close it. That's So that's pretty neat.
I just linked the um, the automatic shot of Valve if you want to watch it. Oleg Antonov. Thanks for your videos. Really great channel. Thanks a lot, but, uh, buddy, for the positive comment. Really appreciate it. Thank you for all of your helpful video videos, brothers. Uh, no problem, Armando. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the feedback. I'm starting to lose my voice. When more than three long sweeps are used on stream of a closet bend, it shall be called a third group. Oleg, do I speak Italian? No. I understand it a little bit, though. Plumbing explained. Yeah, out here we, in California, they loop all our copper under and through the slab. Uh, sometimes we do it on occasions. Um, if you're, let's say, running a water line to a kitchen island and it's in a high-rise building, there's a part that passes in the slab, in the floor. There's no really other options. Unless you have a column passing um, uh, near the um, kitchen island, then they would they would pass them in there. But that's not never the case for when I was working. David Scoopian, I'm getting ready to build a house. Can you give a few thoughts on how much detail to put into the quote request for a plumber? Um, put as much as you can, honestly, that's what I have to say, uh, or else you're the one that's going to get, uh, surprises in the end and don't get all the cheapest stuff. Cause, uh, like I said, you're going to get surprises not too long after you, you're, you're done building. Chase Chandler, no problem, man. Do your best silicone the rest. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Plumbing explained. I kind of find it retarded too because if something happens, um, like what could you do about it? You have to break the, 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 the slab. That's not ideal, especially if there's uh, counters and stuff like that. How to shut off Honestly, if I was you, uh, Myroslav, I would just leave it open. Uh, I would just leave it full. You might want to close the electricity off to it so that it, you're not you're not wasting electricity, but I would just leave it full. All right, Chase Chandler, what is your favorite thing to work on in the trade if you have one? Um, that's a good question. Um, personally, what I like to do the most was pipe fitting. It, I know it's not part of uh, a plumber's job, but uh, I used to like working. I used to like when my foreman used to put me in a mechanical room and say, look, uh, here are the plans. Do what you gotta do, and uh, I used to love to see on the on the plans when there was um, uh, pipe fitting that needed to be done. So like, that's for that part. Uh, if in terms of plumbing, what's the best thing that I would like that I like to do? Um, I'd have to say like soldering uh, two inch, two inch and a half, three inch, four inch for main uh, main entrance uh, lines. Um, what else? I used to like to do cast iron piping too. All the layouts, that pretty much covers it. <laughs> David Scoopian, uh, schedule 80 worth for soil stacks to reduce noise. I couldn't answer. I really don't know. 
Mike Murray, love your videos, man. Coming, coming, an apprentice plumber. I need to get all the knowledge that I could get. Really appreciate the videos, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing, guys. You have no idea how much it helps to get the videos out there. There's a lot of work that goes into these videos, and sometimes I post them, and uh, the views just don't go up, and it's so, uh, <laughs> like, there's nothing I could do about it. I'm, I'm basically relying a lot on you guys to share the word, uh, share the videos, I mean, and get the word out there. If it wasn't for you, like I said, yeah, nothing, nothing would get going. Any experience with Finn? Uh, not yet. I was also approached by um, by Opener because Opener uh, are the ones that deal with Finn, and I was supposed to make a video about uh, the Finn uh, automatic uh, shutoff valve, but instead it's Streamlabs that got the vote. But uh, you never know. Maybe I might do a video on uh, comparing both of them, the pros and cons. I'll see. Nemesis Balam, thanks for transmitting knowledge. No, no problem. That's what it's all about. Knowledge is power. Samu, maybe you could do a video on different water filtration systems. I uh, personally got in contact with, uh, what was the company? 3M. Uh, there was uh, a couple of other um, less known companies that I got in contact with and I asked them if they could send me some stuff so that I can make videos about them and they did not want. So I have to buy this stuff with my own money and uh, they're 300 bucks a pop. So maybe one day. Do more live streams, bro. This was a lot of fun. It was. It, it is a lot of fun. And it's good because all of you guys that have questions, uh, unanswered questions, this is basically the only place where they could be answered is on the live feed. Because a lot of times the way YouTube works is they don't send me uh, a reply when, I, when uh, a comment is posted. So I can't possibly answer all the questions. It would be too long, too time consuming for me to... Uh, go and uh, read all every single reply so here's a good uh a good uh alternative 3m is what we use so far no problem good to know good to know i'll keep that in mind mark duran awesome streams man sorry i missed most of the playoffs bro <laughs> no problem man glad to see that you're on and the ground was filled with worms ew That's disgusting. Like I said, guys, give it a thumbs up, the video, if you appreciate it, because uh, I'll, I'll be leaving this one on the channel, uh, seeing, uh, seeing there's a lot of information. I don't want to just throw it away because it would just be wasted. Anyways, guys, um, I think I'm going to do another five minutes because I haven't ate yet. I did not eat supper. I've been working on, on videos all night. And, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, go for another five or ten minutes and, and then close it. Go have a bite. I'd go get myself some food now, but I don't want to leave you guys alone. David Johnson, I wish I'd turn on her. I have to make more, uh, more live videos. I got to do more of this. That's honestly one of my biggest complaints with YouTube, man. People leave me time and sensitive comments all the time, and YouTube doesn't alert me. Uh, everybody has this problem. Uh, not too long ago, I went uh, to a YouTube reunion in uh, Montreal, and uh, they're working on a lot of things that aren't good for YouTube, but it's going to take time. It's uh... Ciao, Mark Duran. Nice to see you. Uh, we'll keep in contact in the community tab. <laughs>
Jesse James, I have two boilers online in parallel. Don't need it for two months because it it eats a dollar a day and dissolves the cold water working heater. David Johnson, thank you very much. I really appreciate when you guys tell me that you like my videos. It really it really gives me that extra kick in the butt. I might just check that out, uh, the Reddit. If you could put a link down below uh, to where I could register to Reddit. I'm not too familiar with Reddit, so uh, I'll have to check that out. Chase Chandler? Nope. Um, you, you, I don't know if you missed uh, the beginning of the live, but I'm not a plumber anymore, and I never actually... Uh, did any call work that's just not my type of stuff polybulene the plumber's arc nemesis uh who wrote that jesse james in the next video that's coming out in about a week or two i'm not sure yet i, I like i said i'm i'm waiting on some stuff and it's slowing down the video but uh i talk about that uh, something to check uh, when you're buying a property. Steven uh, Shelton, this was cool, bro. It was just that, as cool for me that it was for you guys. Last question before you go, bro. What is your secret to pulling the views you get? Like, what would you say the most important thing to get seen on YouTube when posting? I actually don't know. I just make the videos that I make. And uh, for some reason, they get views. I'm not, there's no secret. It's just YouTube, the way the algorithm works. Um, all I could say is the thumbnail has to be very important, has to uh, pretty much describe what the whole video is about. The quality of your video, the audio, the image. Uh, you have to uh, put out good content. You have to explain everything in detail. That's my uh, way of doing stuff, and it works. So... I hope it works for you. Steven Shelton, I got to learn do more. What do you mean by do more? Do more lives? I know I have to do more of those. Tonight was so, there were so many comments. I'm actually surprised. I can't see all of them because they stopped at like, Matthew Jane, clickbait, you must. Um, I don't I, I don't know about that. <laughs> How I found got to learn was from surfing YouTube and love these videos ever since. Thanks. Because I've got some videos with over 4K views and others on the same exact topic under 100 views. That's welcome to YouTube's algorithm. You can't know. I have I post videos that um, I know are going to work and that they don't work. So I, it's like you can't do anything about them. You just have to let YouTube do its work. Sometimes it takes more time. Sometimes uh, it just so happens that people are asking for that and you post that video uh, and it just uh, goes viral. There's no explanation. Your first video made your channel. You had almost all tricks in one video. Appreciate Yeah. That video actually got five or five point six or five point seven million views. So yeah, more lives. Yep, yeah. I'll I'll try to work on that. T L Tyler, where, how long have you been plumbing for? Uh, I stopped plumbing three years ago, but I did it for eleven years. Ten minutes. I hate CPVC. CPVC is. Uh, uh, becomes brittle with time, so yeah, it has its own set set of problems.
Yeah, there's nothing much uh, that you could do. Like I said, put all the chances on your side. Get yourself a good camera, a good mic. I don't know if you do voiceovers, but uh, try to make the videos as best as you can. Look, um, the videos that I make, they take between two to three weeks of intensive work. So I know a lot of you people that my, you know, my fans, uh, a lot of you would like to see videos coming come out quicker, but. I could do a lot of small videos that won't be as good quality and I'll have a lot less success and that might make me change my mind on making videos and I might not want to make them anymore. So I'm doing what I believe is good for the channel. I know it takes a lot of time and you guys uh, anticipate the videos, but that's what it needs to be. Scotty Kilmer has a, a killer channel. Plumbing, explain. You stay dry too. <laughs> I'm going to stay dry uh, making YouTube videos, that's for sure. If you're doing voice voiceovers, then that's great. I'll go check your channel after. What's for supper? Soup. <laughs> Thank you so much, Plumbing, explain. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Ted Mendes, you're talking about um, Mega Press. I hope. I, I'm glad that it shows. Uh, I just got uh, a 4K uh, camera for those of you that uh, have 4K screens. I know a lot of you, uh, uh, based on my stats, use your cell phone to watch um, the videos when they come out. But uh, some of you do have 4K screens and stuff like that. So, And that's also about future-proofing my videos. They're going to be a lot better quality. <clears throat> Matthew James, you're cool too. Awesome. I'm glad that it helped you out, Jesse James. Hi, man. Can you recommend any books to start study plumbing? Uh... I'd actually recommend watching my videos. <laughs> yeah, Mega Press is nice. <laughs> yeah, the green smoke. I actually did that in my um, in my um, editing program. Took me a while to learn how to get to 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 do it, but uh, I finally uh, got it. <laughs> I actually gave out a pretty cool result. Pretty good. Uh, Simulation there. Will do, Matthew. Uh, don't forget to share the videos when when I post them. It helps. Um, it helps a lot. And um, also give a thumbs up. Um, share with your friends. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and uh, use the little bell icon to switch on the uh, notification so that you get notified when the video comes out. Absolutely. I'll be making more, um, more streams, that's for sure. I know it helps you guys out, so. Egg Roll of Doom, my actual job is making YouTube videos, so I can't actually go on a job site anymore because I don't have my cards. But uh, yeah, that for sure, that would be interesting. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. And, uh, yeah, it was fun talking to you guys. Uh, it was fun answering all the questions. It really went strong tonight. I don't know how many comments I got, but uh, all I could say was a lot. And you guys actually gave me ideas for more videos. Ray Broom, awesome. Love hearing that. I'm so glad that it worked for you.
Also, uh, if you guys have questions, you could add me on uh, on Facebook. I know a lot of you don't use Facebook, if but if you want like assistance or help, or if you have any questions, just add me on Facebook. Um, my account is this one right here. I'll link it in the comment section. So if ever you have uh, comments, just uh, use this link and uh, subscribe. Good night, Ted. It was nice talking to you. So yeah, uh, time to go eat. Like I said, it was nice talking to you guys. Don't forget to give a thumbs up before you exit. Um, and um, I'll try to make more live videos, that's for sure. Last question. You clean all fittings when about to solder. Some plumbers have told me not to because they're already clean. Half inch, three quarter inch, you clean anything above that. Uh, you don't clean anything above that needs to be cleaned. Uh, you could clean them uh anyways even if it's half inch or three quarter inch i personally clean them but you don't have to if they're new out of the box you shouldn't have to clean them saves time all right guys nice talking to you i'm out like i said don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe share all of that good stuff and uh i'll see you guys soon goodbye